if you want to create something awesome, but don't know what materials to use, let me help. So the bare minimum is usually considered a pencil. However, it's come to light recently that using a pen or biro when sketching is a lot better, as you no longer get tied up in making lots of mistakes and instead embrace them. That sounded very cheesy. However, I'm a pencil user and a must have grade is an HB because it has a really wide range of tonal values. And let's be honest, we all have one knocking around somewhere. But Tom, I don't want to buy expensive drawing pencils. Doesn't matter. Based on my very official experiments, I don't believe there's a lot of difference between the uber expensive pencils and the very cheap pencils. Check out this video for proof. But if you want some professional looking gear, mechanical pencils are a great place to start. And they aren't mega expensive. In fact, the amount of lead you get with a mechanical pencil set makes it cheaper than buying a normal pencil set. And these are the exact same pencils I use to draw things like this. I'll link them down in the description. Now we have our pencils, we need a drawing surface. And this is really important, because you could have the best materials in the entire world, and if you're putting them down onto rubbish paper, then yeah, it's not gonna end well. So I'd recommend you investing in some pretty decent stuff. I personally like to work on smooth paper, but feel free to experiment on some rougher paper textures. But Tom, I don't have expensive paper. In this video again, I used literal lined paper, and I kid you not, it held up pretty well, given that it was only pencil, not wet medium. But that's for another day. If you're drawing with pencils, I can guarantee that at some point you'll mess up and need an eraser. But which one do you choose? There's pencil ones, mechanical ones, kneadable ones, and even electric ones. But really, the best choice is just a standard chunk of rubber. Sure, the others have their advantages of being finer. You can always use a knife to cut points into your eraser, those finer details. Just make sure it's an eraser that actually erases and doesn't smudge your work. You've gotten to this point in the video, and you're probably like, I need a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper. Yeah, no way. Anyone could have told me that. So I'm going to share some bonus materials that have really helped me out. Number one, blending stumps. Yes, those weird white sticks are actually great at smoothing out the graininess left behind by graphite pencils, as they push the graphite further into the paper tube, giving a more solid coverage. Number two, a knife. I use this instead of a pencil sharpener to take off a lot of the wood, exposing the lead beneath. I can then manually sharpen this quite thinly. This may take some practice, but you'll be left with a lead that will be sharper for longer. Just be cautious that the lead will be quite susceptible to breakages. Number three, a phone. It is great to look at your drawings through a phone camera, as it kind of simulates looking at it from a distance. This really helps to look at the overall bigger picture, seeing which bits work and which bits don't work. You can also take a picture of your drawing, then go into the editor, and then see what your drawing would look like if you increase the contrast. And in most cases, it will pop more. So you know, you need to darken the blackest shadows and lighten up the highlights. And a bonus tip if you're starting your drawing journey is to record time lapses of your drawings. You may need a phone stand so you can re-watch your process afterwards and identify any things that went well and things that went not so well. I think this is a massive factor in why I can draw. And it's also a nice documentation for future you to watch and appreciate how you used to draw and how you draw now. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, I'm sure you'll love this one after you've liked this video and subscribed, of course.